Welcome back to Brandon Farm. Let me get you in frame. Okay. All right. So today we're filling up the Keyhole Farm. Again, uh, collaboration with Keyhole Farms and Grow Brandon Farm. They graciously sent me a Keyhole Garden. Um, right now I'm filling it up. But over the weekend I put it all together all by myself. Pretty proud of that. Um, it wasn't that hard. Like I said before, there's a lot of zip ties. I'm um, trying to get these metal pieces in. You just take like a little uh, rubber mallet, tap them in, screw them in with those, uh, what do they call those? Self-assisted, <laughs> I don't know what they're called, screws. It's gonna bug me, I can't remember. Anyway, so now I'm filling it up. So it's supposed to rain, it rained all day today, and it's gonna rain all day tomorrow. So in order to take advantage of the rain, I don't wanna just see my door, do you? Okay, we struggle. Taking advantage of the rain, I'm going to fill this up today. That way when it rains tonight and tomorrow, it'll just kind of compact it down and I can continue to add more. So my layers, I started with cardboard, mulch, manure, compost, more mulch. Uh, same thing, over and over and over. Cardboard, mulch, oh, leaves. That was the other thing. Leaves, grass clippings. So now that I'm up to like the top here, I want to put my good stuff. So I've got my vermiculite, my perlite, my peat moss, all the light and fluffy stuff. I also added a five gallon bucket of our worm bin. So worms included, everything else that's included in that worm bin, the worm compost, the worm castings, all the good stuff. So basically I just created four little holes around my keyhole just a little bit, dug it out, and dumped a little bit of the worm compost and worms in there in four little sections of the garden. So, like I said before, there's like a cylindrical mesh compartment that you're gonna feed. You're gonna throw all your kitchen scraps in there, your browns, your greens, um, all the good stuff is gonna go in there, feeding that garden from the inside out. That's the goal. So. I am now going to top the rest of it with a nice thick layer of mulch to keep all that moisture in uh, and those worms protected. So that's the plan. So it's not just a, a keyhole garden, right? It's a keyhole compost system. It's a keyhole worm farm. Um, it's all the things working together as a team to grow bigger, better, healthier plants. We got the team over here with the tractor helping me out. So layer upon layer upon layer and get it filled up and then let the rain do the rest. If you're looking for a sign to start a garden, your sign is here, your sign is now. Grow messy. Get you a keyhole garden, put it together, stick it in your yard, I'm telling you, once you get it all set up and rolling, it's going to be easier on your back, number one, to be planting, weeding, and watering, and all the things, right? As you start to see results from it, you start yielding your fruit from it, the fruits of your labor, I mean, you're going to appreciate it. This is the book that they sent me. Um, it comes with your kit. I've been trying to read through it a little bit. I mean, I get the overall concept, but I just want to make sure I'm doing it right. Keyhole Farms. Look them up. Order you a keyhole. You know, it's going to be good. It's going to be my year. So now my next step that I've got it all filled up. I'm going to let it settle with the rain. I'll probably end up putting some garden soil on top. And then I need to plan out what I'm going to put in it. Um, I need to go through my seeds. I need to figure out what I want to plant where. I know for sure I'm going to do um, tomatoes and probably some lettuce and spinach in there. Um, kind of see how that goes. But uh, it's coming together. I still have to do my L bed, finish my long tomato bed, and probably start some seeds within the next uh, week or so. Our estimated frost, last frost, is March 30th. So we have some time still before then, about a month, two months. Yeah, it's just a yucky rainy day here in Texas. 
in Boyd, Texas, I should say. Texas is huge. I don't really know how it is, you know, other places. So I'm gonna collect my eggs. I'm probably gonna, I don't know if I need to fill bird feeders or not. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the keyhole garden filling up process. All about them layers. I wanted to note, it's kind of cool that the keyhole garden, right? Keyhole garden is not only gardening, but it's composting and worm farming all in one, which is what we're all about over here at Grow Green and Farm. So it's pretty amazing that one system, somebody thought of this one system that has multi uses with it. Um, it's multi-purpose, multi-functional, and it basically stands for everything that we're doing over here on this farm. So I think that's, that's just amazing. It's awesome that they had this idea, they followed through with it, they came up with a way to ship it, and now I've got it in my hands and I'm, I'm able to implement everything that I love in this one keyhole garden, right? So follow along if you wanna see this, the success of this keyhole garden over you know, our growing season and kind of what we're doing with it and what we're planning in it. So if you're here for chickens, gardening, and worm farming, with a bonus of composting, you're in the right spot. If you like our videos, please hit that like button and subscribe. We'll see you next time. I think I just like being down here. Although I feel like a marshmallow in all these clothes. Um, so let's go ahead and get the freeze spray, shall we? Throw the book in there. You know, sometimes I wish my face wasn't in every single freaking photo. You know, freeze frame photo. What do they call that? I don't know. Uh oh, chickens. All right, I'll make sure the chickens aren't in the garden. See you later.